coming up on this episode of Linden Subscriptions. This is messed up. Hello, what the hell? What scared me? Stay tuned to find out. But if you can't be bothered to watch the whole video, then check the description to find out how you can get to that part faster. How's it going, Linden fan fans? Welcome to another episode of Linden Subscriptions. Today we're watching It's Time to Stop. Ryan's Toys Reviews by the channel Isaac Butterfield and I am looking forward to this video because I think what his parents do is absolutely messed up. For those of you don't know, there's this kid called Ryan and his parents basically force him to say things and advertise toys so they can make money. It's really, really messed up. So I'm glad that he's making this video. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen. since the dawn of YouTube, other YouTubers have said to other YouTubers that it's time to stop. But there's one person that has missed out on being called out. One group, one channel, and that is Ryan's, Ryan's Toys Toy Reviews. Reviews. Everything is my favourite. With over 21 million subscribers, Ryan of Ryan Toys Review has become a household Wow, he, he got on the news. And kids well done. This seven-year-old play with toys over 31 billion times. Yeah, that's a lot of shit because they buy a fuck ton of their views and subscribers. So it's probably a lot, lot less than that. Only eight years old, little Ryan. Who I'm not gonna put shit on him this entire video, so don't freak out. But why would you put shit on him? It's his parents that are doing the wrong thing. He's, he's totally innocent. I feel sorry for that kid. He needs to be taken away and put into a, into a foster home. I don't know that sounds bad, but his parents are just using him for money and fame and all that kind of stuff. They should be arrested. But he is the richest YouTuber. He makes the most money out of any of these fucking but true. people on this entire platform. Yep. In fact, in 2019, he made $26 million, $72,000 a day. Crazy thing is, this kid's only slightly older than this YouTube channel. At eight years old. Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking Milo bars, if you ask me. <laughs> Ryan is very, very, well, he's smart, I guess. But his parents are extremely smart. They've seen this opportunity in the kids' market, and there is masses, absolute masses of opportunities in the kids' markets on YouTube. A lot of people don't know this, and I didn't know this, I don't have kids, and if you don't have kids, you probably don't know this either. But a lot of people, when they have children, they don't want to deal with their shit anymore, so they give them an iPad, and they say, here... I would not give my child a device, ever, trust me. And not until they're like, I don't know, 10 or something. Probably not, probably like 16. That's where these kids' markets come from. And they're a big market because they get lots of views. Some people just shouldn't be parents. There's lots of kids, lots of impressionable kids. And that's where Ryan's parents have come under fire before. Absolutely. The channel's administrators are accused of misleading their youngest fans. The group saying Ryan and his parents haven't done enough to let viewers know when they're watching sponsored videos. I have an idea. What about we go to Carl Jr.? They're 23 million subscribers. Yeah, let's go to Carl Jr. Yes. Not because they paid you. They get sponsored. It's, it's so obvious they're sponsored by people. Like, they always buy toys from Walmart or Target or some shit. I don't know. And they didn't declare them as sponsors. This consumer watchdog came out and said, okay, it's not okay for these kids to be exposed to these type of videos because they don't know their advertisements and there are particular laws that are yeah. designed basically to look after young I children. hope this whole YouTube copa shit takes it down. I'm, I'm not going to explain it, but basically now you have to mark a video and specify if it's for kids or not. But the reason I made this video is because a dude came up to me after a show that I did in the Gold Coast and said, mate, you need to make a video about Ryan's Toys Reviews. And I was like, what the fuck am I going to talk about Ryan's Toys Reviews? My audience doesn't want to hear me talk shit about a fucking eight-year-old. But he's, I said to him, but why? Why do you want to talk shit about that? He said, you don't understand what it's like to have a kid who sits there and watch Ryan open up all these amazing toys and these amazing presents for his family all the time. And then your kid comes up to you and says, Dad, why have you given me this shit present? Ryan gets these amazing things. <laughs> and he gets them all the time. That's What's true. What's wrong with you? And this is some dad who's probably busting his ass in a blue collar job and can't afford to buy his kid. And Ryan's family released a Christmas video opening presents. Now, if you have a look at the video, something that really interests me was, although it has over a million views, it's only got 7,000 likes, which is interesting. Yeah, see, so this is what I was saying. They, they buy their views and subscribers. My videos on this channel with over a million views have something like a hundred thousand likes on it. Anyway, 
7,000 likes and 2,000 dislikes. That's very interesting. It seems a lot of people have the shits with this video. So let's have a look at it. Oh. Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, but I think there's two of them. So dojo battle. This. All right, so there it is, right? Open up his sword. Oh, God, he's huge. Wow, I haven't seen him for a while. Straight off the bat, the first thing these kids see when they watch this video is Ryan and his dad playing with this dojo toy. Now, this dojo toy in the video has post effects added to it to make it look fucking sick. A great toy. They're saying oh, the okay. name of the toy at the start so of the video. Really Does there. that mean it's a sponsored video? I don't know. Absolutely, yes. I really don't know. Yes. Maybe it is because that, that toy looks fucking amazing. I mean, how many times did you get a, get, get a toy as a kid? And the commercial was way cooler than, than how it really was in, in real life. Amazing, and if I wanted a toy for Christmas and I saw that, I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's get that, that looks sick. Welcome to Ryan's World. Ryan's World, cringe. Cringe. Happy holidays. What the hell, they slapped the camera. Are you guys ready to open some presents? No, who wants to open presents, especially children, no way. Oh, it's a Barbie house! Whoa! What is it? He had the okay, same reaction as me. Look at all the presents they have. And this this was uh, this was released two days after Australian Christmas and a day after American Christmas. So I imagine a lot of kids who watched it, this, this million plus kids that have watched this video, had seen it and gone, oh my god, you know, look at Ryan's family, our family isn't as good as Ryan's family, they got this amazing Christmas, and sure, you shouldn't compare yourselves to other families, but you do as a kid, you know, if you're getting this toy and little Johnny down the road doesn't get your toy that you got, little Johnny has the shits, yeah? That's how it sort of works as kids, and probably as adults yeah. as well, but I, I think... Oh yeah, I was upset when uh, my friend got different toys to me this year, and then I'm not like, I'm not even going to finish that joke. Oh, my lip oh. oh, isn't that nice? Daddy's taking some time off counting all his money. Alright guys, let the battle begin. Burn. I think this battle scene is a sign of things to come. It's sort of a motif that will happen in Ryan's life because he's fighting with his dad. This, in 10 years time, when Ryan is 18, He'll probably be finding his dad say, Hey dad, where's that quarter of a billion dollars that we've made over the last ten years? Oh, I, I used it to buy drugs. I've spent it on this, this, this and this. Well, do I have any money? Sure you do, son. You've got 200k. Enjoy. Where's the fucking 250 million, dad? You bastard. Yeah, I don't think Ryan gets any of this money. He, that, that, they might tell you that, he, that he's getting the money from when he's older, but that's a lot of shit. They're just spending it all on crap. Bastard. I really hope Ryan's family isn't working in too hard. Like, do these guys go, oh, we need to get, make a video now, we need to be ready, let's make a fucking video. Come on, Ryan, hurry up. Make, you know, don't... It's kind of what I do when I make videos, <laughs> not gonna lie. Room, clean your room, don't worry about doing your homework, let's make a video now. How does it fit that with him in school? How does it fit that with him with his social life? Do, does he have friends? Do they look down upon him? That worries me, seeing this young person in that position. I've seen an interview with his parents, and they seem like nice people, but how can you ethically run a $20 million a year business that... The face of it is an eight-year-old child. I don't see how that can happen. And is it okay to give that out to the youth of the world? I mean, no, the it's not all right. It's, it's messed up. What? Hello, what, what the about? hell? Oh, hello. Come be in my YouTube video. Are you making a video, bros? Yeah, bros. What are you doing? I'm watching this video. Why are you watching that video? Because I'm reacting to it. Oh, can yeah. I react to it? Yeah, sure. OMG! LOL Ruffle Is that right? Yeah This video is lit Yeah There boy. we go There we go uh, I'm on their fucking iPad because you can't bother parenting them He says swears He does say swears Alright that's not a good thing I think it's a good thing Future Like you do that. Here's a clip of, of Roland swearing right now <laughs> but, one hundred. Stop fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> with, with all the things that you can see on the internet, you'll keep you watching. Uh, What's he talking about? <laughs> he even has swears on the screen. He has a thing that says "dick." That's so, oh. so he's, he's talking about this channel where these parents for, force their kids to open presents and like they're sponsored by shit and it's real messed up. So he's like reporting on it. They force their kids to open presents on camera and then. 
It but doesn't sound terrible. Well, yeah, because they they're using they're using them for money, and then they I t tell the kid what to say. It's messed up. That's fine. No, it's not. If your parents could use you for money, I'd I'd tell them to give them a big they're thumbs up. They're exploiting their, their children for money. Eh. <laughs> it's wrong. <laughs> Is it? It's wrong. Is it? Yeah. I'm kind of okay with it, weirdly. Sure. <laughs> I think that makes me a bad person. <laughs> sure. I mean, you, you're not bringing your opinion to the video, so, you know. That's what the internet's oh. about, right? I've got heaps oh, of opinions. Huh? Huh? And I am. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a question for you guys. Let me know down below what you think of this whole situation. It's very and, animated, uh, isn't it? Who reminds me of my brother, Albert? Oh, does he? <laughs> He's a clip of my brother Albert! No, it's not. I don't have one. <laughs> uh, is he done yet? Oh, that was a funny end. Good job. It went out. Oh, hooray, happy days. Uh, I'm, can I leave now? Sure. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> you were never even... I'm on YouTube! Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Linear Subscriptions. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, be sure to give it a like. Rush my choice and get next week's episode. Check out my last look over there. Limpan's Reddit over there. Or check out my last Linear Subscriptions over there. And I'll see you guys very soon with another episode of Linear Subscriptions.